In this video, we will learn how can we use Excel to test the assumption 2. The residual, the variance of residual is the same for all values of the independent variable. So we will create, look at 3.2, create a residual versus estimated y value scatter plot to exam this assumption. So this plot has a very popular name, it's called a residual plot. So once you generated the Excel output, regression output, and you will have one of the area called the residual output. And if you pay attention on the, this following four columns, observation, predicted the GPA, residuals, standard residual. So in these problems, we are looking for what will affect the student GPA. So obviously GPA actually is my Y variable. So this second column actually is my predicted Y value. And next to this column, we have the residual. So which means in order to create the my residual plot, I just need to use the data showing up in these two columns. So in order to create this plot, we first select both columns, the predicted uh, GPA and the residual. So make sure include you need to also select your labels for each column. And then go to top, you will see one tab called the insert. So choose insert. And then you will find one area called the chart. So what we're going to do is we will choose one of that look like scatter. So once you see this little icon, you click this little icon, it shows you this scatter. So we are choosing the first one, so just a regular scatter plot. So once we choose the scatter plot, then we will generate this plot. So the title is named as the title of the, uh, the chart title is called the residual. And the vertical axis is my residuals, and the horizontal axis is my predicted y value. So you can find from this uh, residual plot, we're trying to see if the residuals are the same, uh, regardless of the x value. So in the slides, we mentioned in order to decide if this assumption is violated or not, you just try to find if you can see the horizontal band of the points. So if you're looking at the, the example on the slides here, you find Actually, they look like horizontal band. So compare this horizontal band with the what we got here. So actually you found in this example, we found that the assumption two, the residual are the same regardless of the value of the X are violated. The reason is because you cannot see the horizontal band. Instead, you see a comb shape or the wedges shape. So we had a problem for this uh, example that is assumption two is violated.